How's it going, Poke fans? Poke fan Brand here with Twilight Masquerade. We have our first product, which is the ETBs. Yeah, video's three days late, but things were delayed. So we did get a little bit of a sneak peek yesterday in the Scarlet and Violet Mega Battle with five packs of Twilight Masquerade. But we got two full ETBs. So let's open these up, lay everything out. We'll take a look at everything, the promo, the sleeves. We'll start off with beautiful holographic artwork on the ETBs. And then we'll get to the actual important part, which is the packs. So, not much more to say. Let's get into it. Alright, there's the contents. Let's go on through it quickly. Code card for the ETB. And code card for the other ETB. Dice and markers. Dividers are good for organizing your bulk. I do like, like I said, holographic. Energy brick. Yeah. Sleeves are nice. The promo. Absolutely beautiful. The borders have a very light sparkle to them. And the important part, nine packs from the ETB and the other nine packs. So we're going to keep those separate so we can see which ETB is better. I always go for right, so we're going for the right side, but not much more to say. Let's get into it. Now we had pretty bad luck with the five packs yesterday. But that was also just five random packs I pulled from a booster box. So I could have just picked the bad packs. But what I'm seeing with a lot of people, pull rates are not the greatest. I think Danny is 2,400 packs in and still hasn't master set it. And I thought, Paradox Rift was bad. Phantom, Slugma, Swirlix, Tadbulb, Belly Bolt, Belly Bolt. I also don't know if the double banger packs are back. With that, like 2400 packs and not even being close to master setting it, I'm gonna think no. I think he was also saying that SIR poles are lacking. So let's see what we can get. The only SIR I really want for myself would be the Blood Moon or Saluna. Or the Perrin. Walking Awake. I intentionally didn't go through the book at the beginning, like the ETB book. I don't know specifically. I don't know every card that's in the set. I know a few of them. But I intentionally don't look up the sets. So I want to be surprised when I pull stuff. Wow. Usually regular scramble violet sets you get three to five ish hits per ETB. Unless it's stuff like Pali and Fates where the most I got was eight. Let's see what we can get here. Who, who is that? I don't know. Zapdos. Later on. Same card we had yesterday. Is our only pull. Not too bad so far. I don't know. A bit too early to make a judgment. And I'll make my judgment after we've opened. Whatever. One or two hundred packs. Clement. Diplin, Chi Yu, Kilowattrel. Do you like that Zapdos is in this? Like that they're kind of like introducing all the older legendaries. Caretaker, Lampant, Poltergeist. Yeah. Ducklet, Mighty Anna. No. Why? Every set. Every... Okay, full art. I'll take it. Would have rather had Nurse Luna. But it is a third hit. With two packs left. If we get one more hit, I'm happy. Sandrew, Chansey, Tangela, Corfairy, Glalie, Bubble Pass,
Mm. I don't understand all the new Pokemon. Like, yeah, I don't know. A cup of matcha with ice. Last pack from the first ETB. Shinx, Poltergeist, Nope, Watchel, Heracross, Love Ball, Glamora, Dragapult. With a dent on the top. Nice. But that is, what, five hits from nine packs. Not too bad for the first ETB. Now on to the second ETB. One S hair. Preferably, like I said, the Blood Moon Ursula. Belly Bolt. Snorlax. Wacky. Graffer Rig. Bez and Deputy. Farfetch. I think I saw Dark Border. I think. Dabra, Fable, Cook, Palafin, Ivy, Nine Tails, Nope, Tinglu. This guy, that one. Didn't pull it in Japanese. Not even gonna attempt to pull it in Korean because the booster boxes are the same price as Japanese. So this time around, not an affordable option because, well, not a more affordable option. Because we're like, I think the Korean boxes of Crimson Haze are like $50, and then Japanese is $60. So might as well just open Japanese. Something's there. Regular EX? Okay. Alright. Tangrowth, Venipede. That is coming out work. Nice. Chansey. Track Loak. Tatsugiri. Diplin. Jamming Tower. Applin. Growlithe. Chandelure. Unless we get something big, looks like I'm going to be wrong. Because we need to get a pull from every pack left to match that first ECB. More Pico. Okay, Ace back. Okay. Yeah, we need to win. We need four more hits. To tie, we need three more. Or just a big hit. Polyworld, Tangela, Shinx, Fairy, Glaceon, Sandslash, Apom. Fairy, Alakazam. Shinx, Poltergeist, No, Watchel, Conkelder, Diplin, Poltergeist again. Nice simple artwork. I like it. Volby, Laxio, Goldeen, Lucian, Darmanitan, Carmine. What am I in the Carmine? Or the Paranus Ayers? Ran out of sleeves. Yeah. With the pull rates mentioned the way they are, being like ho horrible, didn't think I'd need to grab another pack of sleeves yet. Last pack at our first product Volbeat, Coltine, Sandy Gast, Dreepy, Feriga Raff, Brook Bonnet, Watchel, Abra. And an Emerus. All right, from 18 packs. From the first nine packs, 
EX, Art Rare, Full Art, EX, and Art Rare. Out of that one, I'd say my favorite. I like that layer one. Second, nine packs, only four hits. And very easily, the Applin. That's my favorite from those four. So, not too bad actually. More than I expected, clearly. But, that's it for today. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate you tuning in and making it this far in the video. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and subscribing if you do want to see more. And I'll see you again tomorrow with the booster box of Twilight Masquerade.